Yo, welcome Frody. So one question that I get asked all the time is what's the best server to create an alt character to farm Lucent as a free to play player? And now let's answer that question. Because the answer is not as simple as you might think because it's actually depending on the player. You cannot just go and recommend one server. And this is why I will try to explain you how you can figure out the best server for you. Because to choose the best server, we need three things to match up. We need the highest Lucent prices on the items that we can farm well as a free-to-play player. We need the lowest possible population to have less competition. And we need a ping that still allows us to play the game properly. Figure out the best Lucent value. We are actually going to questlog.gg where we can go into the auction house. And here we will have to set up a favorite list. And what we are favoriting is the items that are easy accessible to farm as a free to play player on an alt that is relying on the dailies. So it's like level 50 dungeon, um, specific items that have lots of value that you can target farm. It's the Ember and Sapphire band, which with the new random dungeon system, once you get one salvation, you instantly have one of those ready. It's the lithographs from the Abyss currency that you can craft and um, easy have access on on an odd character. This is what you have to look at. And then on top here, you can always filter between all the different um, server locations. And then you can always check between early and full release servers. So let's make it just like as an example here for the um, Licurious Wicked Forns. I'm checking, we have 684 on the heavy attack as a reference one. If I'm EU early access, if I'm EU full release, you're already seeing I'm losing 140 in the value here. If we are going to NA, it's not that much different. Here, it's pretty similar. Here, NAW full release, we're having so far the best value. This is just how you have to try to narrow it down. And then you have to note some prices down for multiple items that you can reach and then just build an average. In this way, you will find the server that is giving the best Lucent value for the early farms of an alt character. The next thing that's important is that we're having a low population server. That means the best way to actually check for that is to make sure that there's no giant guilds on a server. Just go to the official Throne and Liberty Discord, to the recruitment, check for the server where you think the Lucent value is good for the things that you can farm, and then check if there's many major hardcore guilds. And if there's not as many or only like a few, then that server is probably fairly good to farm, especially in Swift strategies that like the Queen Belendir soul fragment farm that I released or the secret chest farm, for example, those work way better if you find one of those servers. The next thing that you can play with to choose is actually day and night cycle. If you manage to play at a night time, you see you always have like half of the competition usually. So that means in the game, in the server selection, in the top, you can see the different time zone changes. So maybe it is viable for you that you select a time zone where you can put like on a normal character never be able to participate at any events. But then at night when you have zero competition, you can do all of those special farming methods. You can go and get those chests, those extra dungeon runs going. Like that is a really nice strategy. But this is only possible if you have a decent ping. And this is where our sponsor Exit Lag comes into play. I've personally been using Exit Lag now for over three years. I started using it when I was playing Flyth Universe on the Southeast Asian servers. I used it to play Throne and Liberty in Korea for close to one year. And now I'm still using it for the global version just to optimize my ping in Europe. And if you decide to farm on a different server to abuse the nighttime, then Exit Lag is definitely the tool that you should go for to get your ping to a playable state. You can also use it as a normal VPN. If you just slap a browser in there, it works just fine. If you are, for example, unlucky and you live in a region where Throne and Liberty Global is not accessible, this is also your way to open the doors. With the link in the description, you can currently save 50% of a one-year plan. And as always, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.